live. Okay, once again, my name is Carrie Miller, and I'm coming to you live from the IAW studios in Northeast Texas. It's an absolute privilege to be here this evening to share uh, what I believe is one of our milestones in uh, uh, the App Wizard, and it's a pleasure to be able to come. I apologize once again for last night. We had a complete crash here, and uh, about 10 minutes before startup time, I thank uh, the guys for put, getting everything together and getting all the information out to you and making everything happen. But we've got a wonderful crowd this evening. I said earlier, uh, don't leave if you don't have to because you will not get back in. We're going to have a full house this evening. So once again, my name is Kerry Miller, live from Northeast Texas in the IEW studios, and we're going to roll right along. Before we get started, uh, a man that I greatly admired, I've had the opportunity to meet him several times, uh, been to many of his uh, seminars, and uh, he's a, a Dallas native, uh, goes to Prestonwood Baptist Church over in Dallas. Uh, Zig Ziglar passed away yesterday, and uh, I know that many of you on here have probably read his books and uh, heard his teachings, so we just want to say... Uh, our many condolences to his family, uh, his service. If you're in the Dallas area, we'll be at Preston Wood on Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure of the time. I believe it's 10 o'clock. But so many, many, many thanks to uh, the impact that Zig had in my life uh, as a young man growing up and uh, moving up into the sales world. So, and I know that uh, uh, many of you could say the same thing. One of his quotes that was absolutely my favorite was you can have everything in life that you want if you just give enough other people what they want. And I believe that really sums up the IAW family, uh, the work that is put in, the hours that are put in to developing this platform, uh, making it the absolute best it can possibly be, and rolling out the things that they do in a, in a fashion and the way that they do. Uh, they don't chance around. Nothing is second best. Everything is first class. And uh, we really, uh, really give a th great thanks to those guys. And uh, once again, my heart goes out to the Ziegler family. And, uh, and I know that uh, one day soon uh, I'll be seeing Zig again. So uh, God bless them and, and God bl and bl bless their loss. And I know that they'll come through it because they're a strong faith. Okay, we're going to get started. And we are going to get started talking about our Android uh, platform that we've put together. So many of you have been waiting for this for so long. The first thing you have to do is set up your Android store. And we're going to go through that first. There's actually three steps. Uh, if you would, as we get started, please hold all your questions till the end. I don't want you to get sidetracked because you'll be the first one that emails us and says, I missed that. Uh, this is, it's not complicated, but there are steps that you need to follow and have to follow in order to make it correct. Uh, there's things that you have to do if you want your store to be set up correctly. Uh, there's things you have to do to make sure that your apps are uploaded correctly and that they're published correctly. We do have video training, steps one, two, and three, that have been produced. Uh, they'll be in, they're already in the training section. Uh, they'll also be set up on the Android uh, section of the control panel. But we want to make sure that you understand before you get off tonight. So if you would, once again, please save your questions till the end. Uh, we've got our developers on board with us this evening, and uh, we'll be able to answer your questions. So let's go in here and get started. Step one, I want to tell you right up front so that you're not, oh no, I didn't know that. There is a $25 fee for setting up the developer site. And when you go in and you start setting up, and you're going to see where that's at here in just a moment, there's a $25 fee that you have to pay, okay, as a developer. 
and you'll do that as you set up your store and get everything put together. So what you need to do, let me bring this website back up. If you'll just go to developer.android.com and or Google Developer Android in Google and it'll come up. But if you'll go to developer.android.com, you'll be able to go to this page. And what you want to do is you want to go up here to distribute. Okay, you just click on distribute and then right here you'll go to the developer console. Just click on the developer console. If you do not have a Gmail account, you have to have a Gmail account. I recommend if, for example, my company's name is Moby Advertising Group. I've got Moby Ad uh, Group at gmail.com. So you can just go in and set it up, but you have to have a Gmail account. So go in and set up your account, and then you're going to have to log in. When you log in, uh, just log in just like you would if you're logging in for your mail, and you must have the Gmail account. I want to say that again because I know people are going to say, I can't get in. That's because you don't have a Gmail account. So have your Gmail account so that you can log in. Go ahead and sign in just like you normally do, and it's going to take you to the Android Developer Console. And you can see right here, once again, that you will have to pay a registration fee of $25 with your credit card using Google Checkout. Now, when you bring this up, you see here you have developer name, your email address. Your email address is already going to be populated. Now, this is the Gmail account that you either just set up or that you already have. You can change that email address uh, to whatever you want your information from Google Play to be sent to your website URL, your phone number, and you click this button if you want email updates. Now what I did was, and I recommend you do the same thing, or you can do it however you want to, but the developer name is Moby Advertising Group. Okay, this appears to users under the name of your application. Now why would I want to put that in there instead of my personal name, Carrie Miller? Uh, very simply, it always goes back to branding. Uh, I want my company on every single thing that happens. The email address is the same. You can either change it or leave it with your Gmail account. Uh, your website URL, I used my mobyadvertisinggroup.com URL. Uh, that way, once again, it's out there. And you have to put your phone number in there. You can put your cell phone number in there or your number to your office or whatever. And I clicked on contact me occasionally about development and Google Play opportunities. The best way you learn in this industry, the best way you learn anything, is receiving and reading information. So the more things you get, the more information you're able to read, the smarter you get and the better you get at what you do. And then you just click continue. Now that you've started, you're going to have the de developer distribution ag agreement come up. You're going to have to click the button here and then click I agree, okay? Make sure you click the button or you will not go any further. And then you're going to come up to where you're going to have to get your registration fee paid. Okay, your registration fee enables you to publish software in the market. The name and billing address used to register will bind you to the developer distribution agreement, so make sure you double check. So you just click continue. And you go in and fill out your information. You can see here they're going to charge you the fee. Get your information filled out. And then you're going to be refreshed to this page that says, Thanks, Carrie K. Miller, you're done. Uh, thanks for your interest in publication, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to get an email. Okay, This shows you right here that, hey, you paid for it. Your registration fee has been paid and everything's good to go. And you're able to go in and get things started. Now, once you've done that, the only thing you need to do to log in is go back to the development page, the developer page, and log in. And you're going to be able to go in and take care of business. Now, that's out of the way. That's done, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You're going to get your email. It's going to have all your information on it. 
uh, put that in a safe place, make a copy of it, put it in a folder, make sure you don't lose that information. Always remember the email address, and it's like anything else. You can click on it, and they will send you your password and so forth. But you have to have your Google address. Now we're going to go into, and we're going to look at how to generate the Android app. This is an extremely uh, crucial process. It's inside your control panel. I'm going to go live here. Let me just move a screen over. so that you can see exactly what we're doing. Let me make sure that populates, and I just saw it populate. You're going to go into your control panel, okay, just like you do to build an app. And each app has its own Generate Android App button. You can see where we've added it right here. You've got your Text Web App, Edit Web App, Edit Client Access, and Text Service, Generate Android App. So we're going to go into this directory here, and I'm going to go into uh, right here. And you can see, excellent job, Mark. Thank you, sir. This is beautiful. Uh, the videos are up, setting up your Android store, generating your Android app, uploading and publishing your Android app. These three steps will take you right through, and you won't miss a lick, okay, if you watch these videos. What I recommend is when you're doing this, turn on the video and let it take you to the point you're at, and then pause it, then continue on. But it's step by step exactly what you need to do. Now, I'm going to make a couple of changes here, just like I did over there. Uh, right here, this is the app name, Hunt County Mobile Directory. Okay, the publisher, it says here, Kerry K. Miller Sr. But what's old Kerry K. Miller Sr. going to do? I'm going to change that to Moby Advertising Group. Okay, and I'm going to change this right here, 2012, the copyright, to Moby Advertising Group. Okay, and I do that for a very specific reason. Branding is the key to your life in this business. You want everybody, every time they see something, every time they pull something up, especially now that you're going to be in the Android marketplace. Now that you're there, people after people after people, tons and tons of people are going to have the opportunity to see you. And if you start using some different advertising techniques that's in the Android app itself, uh, a lot of people will see you. So you want to make sure that you do exactly what you have to do to get your name out there. Now, that's what you've got to do to get that part set up. Pretty simple. Now you've got to build and upload your icons. Now, I did this yesterday, and I kept getting stuck, because I usually build my icons just a little bit bigger and try to upload them. And uh, so I built it a little bit bigger so it would compress a little bit and it would look really sharp, blah, 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 and uh, it won't upload. Okay, these sizes are specific to what you have to do, exactly what you have to do to build these uh, dimensions right here. Do not go less than that. Do not go more than that, or it will not take it. Now, we've got a new program, and it's called Pixlr. It's a great, great, great program. Uh, there's a video right here that's been connected, and I'll go ahead and pull it up so you can see it. going to take a minute because I'm using all this bandwidth. How to produce an icon for Android, okay? There's nothing that we left out. Everything we did was set so that it would be extremely simple and that if uh, you forgot something, you could go right in here and do it. And you can see this is only 2 minutes and 20 seconds long. So it doesn't take an extreme amount of time. But what we did was is we found an excellent program. Actually, Woodrow found this program when we was on the phone the other night about midnight. And uh, we were trying to find a program that we could use within Firefox that worked extremely well, and it's called Pixlr.com. Now, I'm going to stop out of this for just one second because what I want you to do, and I want it on this video, is go to Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com.
Okay. When you go to Pixlr.com, there is an add-in for Firefox. They've got one for Chrome too, but we want to keep you inside Firefox because our program, our control panel, is developed and designed specifically for Firefox. So you come over here to Pixlr Grabber, and you just click on Pixlr Grabber, and you can see right here, you download the Grabber for Firefox. And that's all you have to do. Download that. It'll automatically populate in Firefox. You'll go out of Firefox. You'll close it out, and you'll restart it. And then when you come up here to Tools, you will have your Grabber. You'll have your uh, Editor. And you'll be able to use all of this right here inside your browser. And it's a great, 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 for, and it's free. That, that's, that, I said that 15 times when I was speaking to Woodrow. I can't believe it's free because it is, it's an excellent, excellent program. So what we want to do is, is we want to build us an icon. Now I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to walk through and I'm going to build an icon just like I built okay for myself so I'm gonna come in and I'm going to go to open Pixlr editor and you can see it put, pull up here I'm gonna create a new image and I'm gonna call this icon now when I build this image this specific image and you'll see this in the video I'm going to build it bigger, okay, this specific image, I'm going to build it bigger, then I'm going to run it through the Quirco process to bring it down to uh, the 114 by 114. So I'm going to build this at 256. And we're going to go just like that. I'm going to do this just like I did before. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab another color, something that's close to what I want, about right there. I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to take my paint bucket and I'm going to paint my background. Now I've got to come in and I've got to make my icon. So I want to put something that stays consistent with my app that I'm building this for. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to open up another image. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to find my image for my auto directory, and I'm going to resize this. I'm going to go image, image size. I'm going to unconstrain the properties. Remember what the width was? 256. I'm going to go 256. Okay. Actually, I want the properties constrained. Okay. So constrain the properties. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get the marquee tool. So you guys get a little graphics training and a little IEW training at the same time. I'm going to go edit. I'm going to go copy. I'm going to come back over to my icon and I'm going to go edit and I'm going to go paste. Okay. Now you can Center this a little bit. If it's not centered, you can move this around with your little move tool. We'll put it right about there. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to save this image. Okay, and I'm going to save it in my picture file. It's going to be called icon.jpg. Okay. And I'm going to take this step by step, just exactly how you would be doing it. Now let's go back over here. Now I want to generate my icon. So I'm going to go to Generate Icon, and, and as you well know, because you've used this before, you're going to pull up Quirco. Now I'm going to go Browse. I've got to find that. It's called Icon A B C D F G H. Can you tell I have built a million of these in the last two days playing with it? I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to go Make Icon. And looky there, it made me a perfect, beautiful to read, matches everything I've got perfectly, okay, 114 by 114. That's what it'll look like on the phone. I'm going to right click on that, 
your, your computer may be set up to left click, but I'm going to right click or left click, whatever yours is. I'm going to save image as, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say this is my 114 by 114 uh, Android, just so I'll know. Icon. And I'm going to save that. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to upload my image. Do not forget, this must be 114 by 114. Okay? Extremely important. We're going to upload the image. Let me find it here. I forgot what I named it. And there's my icon. Now we've got to build a splash screen. A splash screen is extremely simple. It's a great place for you to advertise. The splash screen is going to come up and it's going to come up for about two or three seconds while your app, your Android app is loading. Okay? So you want to make sure that uh, everything is good, everything is ready to go, and you use this splash screen for your advertisement. So let's go over back to our little photo editor online free image editing software that I absolutely love. Okay. Let me close this down. That was our icon. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to make a new image. Now this image, as we said, has to be 320 by 480, so we're going to make it special, 320 by 480, and we're going to call this Splash, uh, we'll call it Android HC Splash Page. Okay, 320 by 480. Now I want to keep this consistent once again, okay, I'm not going to make it difficult, we're not going to make something uh, real out of the, real fancy here, but I'm going to color my background once again, okay, now I'm going to close that down because I want to use this image in its normal size, so I'm going to open up my next image. And I'm going to use my same image that I use. This is my actual header image. And the width of that was what? 320. Okay, so I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to say image size. And I'm going to keep it constrained. I'm going to say 320. Okay. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab my marquee tool, which is this little dotted line tool here. I'm going to grab that image, I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. Now what I'm going to do with this image, you take this little move tool and you move it up here to the top. Okay, I'm going to put me some text in here. I'm going to say, let me change the color, we're going to make that black. Let me go over here to RGB. go to web colors and I'm going to say powered by what am I doing here branding again powered by Moby advertising group now this doesn't have a center tool on it okay so I'm going to manually manually center this Okay, I'm going to manually center this. I've got insert on somewhere. Powered by. Now you can see it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to have to bring it down a little bit. Here's your sizer right here. And let's go ahead and make this bold and italic. 
Okay, get my move tool. I can move it right here. Now I'm also going to put my, let's put my web address on here. Okay, we're going to change the color on it. Let's go to black. Okay, we're going to have to really bring that down to make it fit. Let's go in here and make it a point. Let's bold that. And I can put my phone number on there. I can do anything I want. So now that we've got that built, I'm going to say File, Save. We're going to save it right over here. OK. Android splash page. I'll put it right there. I'm going to come back over here to my Instant App Wizard. I'm going to upload Android splash page. And there it is. Okay, the, the splash page is the page when someone goes into the app, actually from the phone, it takes just a couple of seconds for it to upload. This will be shown on the phone first, then the app will come up. Excellent, excellent tool to advertise with. Now let's go in here and look at our header logo. This is very quick. I'm going to get our header logo and I'm going to use this because why I want to keep everything consistent. I'm going to say file, open image. I'm going to come down here and open my image up. Okay, and I'm going to resize that header logo to 480 by 224. I'm going to unconstrain that. We'll say 480 by 224, and that's pretty close to what the image size was. Okay. Now all I've got to do, I don't have to move that, I don't have to do anything with it. All I have to do now that it's resized is save it. We'll say file, save. I'm going to say uh, one header logo Android. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go Upload Image. And it's right there, one header logo, Android. And there's my header logo. OK. You're done with this part of building in the control panel. OK. Put your information here. Uh, one thing I want to tell you real quick, if you see these numbers change, and you will see those numbers change, every time you go into that app, it will automatically change that number. Like this is 1.0.0. If I came in tomorrow and redid this app completely and uploaded it, it would be 1.0.1. 1 .1, okay? And I'll show you that when we get over into the developer side of the control panel. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're going to generate app and email now. Okay? This is going to email you what's called an APK file. It's going to email you that file to the email address that you put right here. Okay? That's the email address that will be used to send your files to. It's an APK file. Uh, you will save it to your computer. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to generate that. Now this can take up to about 15 minutes. Uh, yesterday it, it was doing it in about five, but when everybody gets in here and starts doing this and everybody's doing it at the same time, give it about 15 minutes. So everything will be great. Okay, so we're going to just generate app and email now. Okay. Now, it's being done. It says, please allow up to 15 minutes for the wizard to generate your Android app. We're just going to hit continue. 
And that's going to take us back to our home screen. Now, while we're there, we're going to come on over and we're going to get off into our developer console. Because you have a few more screenshots that you need to build while you're in your developer console, and you can get all of that done and out of the way. And we're going to sign in. Oops. I've got about 15 different Gmail accounts, so I never know which one I'm signing into. Okay, sign in. Nope. Okay, we are in our developer console. And this is where everything is going to happen. We're going to upload a new application. Now, I don't have the APK file right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to go ahead and take care of some business because there's no use sitting around doing nothing while you could be finishing up what you got to do. So... What you want to do is you've got to build at least two screenshots, and you can see here that those two screenshots have to be 320 by 480. You've, then you've got to build a high-resolution icon, and I'm going to show you how to do that. That's a 512 by 512. And once you've done that, all you have to do is come down here, fill out some information, click a couple of boxes, and then your APK file will be completed and then you'll be good to go. So let's go back over to Instant App Wizard. Now what we think is pretty cool is this new Pixlr deal because we've told you that it also grabs and takes, I'm going to close that completely out so you can see how this works. We're going to take a screenshot of our mobile app preview page from right here within the console, resize everything in that little Pixlr program, save it, and be done with what we have to do. So let's go in here and we're going to edit the web app. Let me go to this web app right here. Now, I'm going to take a screenshot of the front page and the directions page, the map section, uh, because I think they look good. They look, they'll look good in the Android store. I looked at it yesterday. It really gives it a, a lot of punch. You can put as many of these screenshots in there as you want, but you've got to put at least two. Now, you come up here to Tools, and you're going to go to Pixlr Grabber, okay? Then you're going to go to Grab a defined area. We're going to move this over to right here. Let me let me just show you here so you can see before. There's some little blue boxes right here, okay? And that's how we're going to set our grab section. We're going to move that right there. We're going to move that right there. And then we're going to bring this all the way down. right there, and then we're going to say crop. Now it's going to ask you what do you want to do. Do you want to share this? Do you want to save it? Do you want to copy it? Now we want to go right into the editor. We don't want to mess around. We don't play around. We want to get immediately right to where we want to go. And there it is. Now this has to be resized to 320 by 480. We're going to come in here to image, image size, unconstrain this right here.
Okay. We're going to take that and we're going to go. You can see right here where it changed 320 by 480. We're going to say File, Save. We'll call this um, Android. Screenshot one. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it right here in my pictures. Okay, now we're not going to go back to the console yet. We're going to go right here. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pull up my contact us. I'm going to go to the address and map. Okay, because it looks good. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to get tools, pixler grabber, grab a defined area. It's already set in the same place. We're going to go crop. We're going to go edit. I'm telling you, it doesn't get any easier than this. We're going to go image, image size, unconstrained, 320 by 480. Okay, file, save, we'll call this 1-1, one, one, splash, screen, I'm sorry, that's a, whatever, 2. And we'll save it right there. Okay. Now, there's one more thing we want to do before we go in there and do that. Let me pull this screen back up. Right here it says, you see these are optional? That means you don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. This right here is not optional. Okay, so you have to add a high-res application icon. Now let me show you something that's really cool. I'm going to take this right here. See where it says learn more? Well, I clicked on that button and it says learn more. Let me just let me just throw this out there real quick. There's many, many, many things that you can do inside the developer console. The training that you're getting tonight is, is the training you need. All the advanced training will come from the learn more buttons. So if you want to learn how to do all the uh, other things, just click on the Learn More buttons. It gives you all the information that you need to do exactly what you need to do. Uh, if you ask questions on anything other than what I'm showing you, I'm probably not going to know uh, because I'm not going I'm, I'm to get deep into that. So uh, the best thing to do is go to the Learn More buttons. What you want to do is go to the Android Asset Studio. This is kind of like QueerCo. Okay, and what you you will go in here now. I've built a 215 by 215 image over, and I show you how to do this in the vid training videos. But for time's sake here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull up my image. I'm going to go to my pictures. Once again, I want to stay consistent. Oops. Wrong one. This is also best used in Google Chrome. See, it's not. It's not even let me use it in this. Use this in Google Chrome. And I've got Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and open it up just so you can see it. I never use Google Chrome. I personally don't like it. But it specifically says use this in Google Chrome. So use it in Google Chrome. It's the only time you have to pull out of it. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find my 2, 5, 5, 12 by 5, 12. 
okay? Now you see how quick it uploaded in Google Chrome? I don't know what it is about the other programs, but it uploads it immediately. Now, what you're going to do here is, is you're going to generate your web icon right here. And it generates that big icon for you. Right click on it, save image as, go into your pictures, and, and save it whatever you're going to save it as. Okay? It's a great little tool, and you get to it directly from going to learn more and Android Asset Studio. It's just a quick way to make a little icon, or actually a 512 by 512 icon, that you need in your developer console. Okay, let me see if that email is ready here. Give me just one second. I'm going to pull these screens down. I'm going to have to get to my email. This should be in here. Okay, you see right here it's 7.41 p.m. so that must be uh, Pacific time or mountain time. You're going to get your information. This right here can you see? No. Okay, the screen updated. Right here, this is your APK file, okay, that you just got emailed, okay, from your console. And here is a link. I recommend that you click on that link and you put it in your favorites or something. That way, all you got to do is click on a button. But there's your link to get into your control panel for the uh, Android. Download this link. It says download APK, APK file. Click on that. It's going to say download. I'm going to save as. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's just easy to find. Okay, I saved it to my desktop. I'm going to come back over into my developer console. Now, we're ready to go in, and we're going to ready to get everything going. So let's upload our APK file. Browse. Remember, I put it on my desktop. Be down here on the bottom somewhere. Yeah, I thought I saved it to my desktop. There it is. And we're going to add the file. Okay? If your app exceeds the 50 mil, uh, megabyte APK limit, you can add extension files. It's not going to. Okay? So let's go ahead and upload. And that's going to take a few minutes. Now, let's go back while that's uploading. This is 3.79 megs. And with me online with you guys and uh, all the ladies that are in the house this evening, uh, it's going to take just a couple of seconds. But once it starts uploading, it'll upload. Step one, you've got to set up your Google Store. You've got to go in and physically do that. Uh, don't try. I wouldn't try to generate anything. I wouldn't do anything else until you've completed step one. Step two, you're going to go in and you're going to go into your console and you're going to set everything up. You've got to build your header logo. You've got to build your icon and you've got to build your splash page. Okay. Once you do that, you generate your APK file. While you're generating your APK file, you go ahead and take care of the little minute stuff that's going on inside the console. 
So what we're going to do, and wouldn't you know it, who would ever think that the Android console would be down? Let's try it one more time. Let's try to upload it there. It said they're experiencing some difficulties. Let's see if that uploads. But this is an exciting program. I had a chance yesterday to um, I had a chance yesterday to I'm getting some errors here. Actually upload my app into my phone from, from my Hunt County directory and it was absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. I mean to, to be able to see that Android app in there was really, really cool. Let's start about to finish up here again. Let me go ahead and re-download it real quick. Let me download it to my desktop right where it was. Maybe I didn't let it download. Uh, matter of fact, I know I didn't let it download, Mark, so I didn't know how to download enough. So right here you can see that it's downloading. Let it completely download before you try to open it up. So we'll just watch that for a minute. While we're watching that, let's look at a couple of questions real quick. Uh, what does APK mean? I don't have an absolute clue, Scott. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I'll probably never know unless Mark knows and he can tell me real quick. It's just an extension on a file. Uh, maybe it stands for Android something. Uh, Mark, do you know what APK means? The file extension APK. <laughs> even our programmer even said, "What's that?" But it's just a file extension. It's just a file extension. Why would we want to use Play Store when we are sending apps? Uh, you know what? Uh, that's up to you. We have a lot of people that want to uh, have the option to sell the uh, apps, mobile apps. And that's still downloading. What is the benefit of having an app? Some people want to have an app. Um, the, the very reason we built this and installed this is because so many of our resellers were being asked, hey, can we download this in our Android? Sure you can. Uh, or you can go in and you can save it right to the screen. It, it's totally, totally up to you. But some people want the uh, fill of the app and we give them the fill of the app and with the fill of the app that's a that's a huge upsell uh, I don't know if you realize this but apps are being sold every day that are in the Android store for about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars for exactly what we did every day okay now that that has done that now and I'm gonna go back in developer console Hunt County Mobile Directory, upload, and we'll let that upload. Let's go ahead and take a couple more questions here while we're uh, while that's uploading. This is a good time because I've got to let that upload. Scott says that stands for App Creator.
Android application package file. Thank you. Uh, I, I hope I say your na name correctly. Uh, Anurag Vajanev. Why well, everybody come back and gave me the answer to that? APK and a 25 cents would get me a cup of coffee. Let's see here. Is the app store you just demonstrated optional? No, yes, you do not have to sell. You do not have to upload into the Android store. <laughs> ben said, where am I getting a cup of coffee for 25 cents? Ben, I'll be honest with you, buddy. I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> We'll give this just a couple more minutes. It's just about uploaded. So make sure that's downloaded completely. That's, that was a good thing that happened, that it happened right here on live training. Because uh, when I'm sitting here by myself, I, I let it download and I uh, already had everything built. And I went in and got me a sandwich. So it had plenty of time to download. So don't get in a big hurry like I did. And uh, that way you make sure it's uploaded and it doesn't cost you five minutes. I'm sitting here waiting for it to upload and finish. I'll tell you what, when our internet went down last night, I, I, I thought I was going to jump through the wall. I do not like things to go wrong. Okay, there it goes. Now you can see it uploading and finishing there and going right into its little system. You can see my mouse jumping around there. And when it's finished, we'll be able to close it right here and go on in and finish up our product details. I do want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. We've got a, a, a huge, huge crowd this evening. Well, I'm thinking about that. If you got the email today, we would appreciate if y'all would go in and like our new fan book, face, Facebook fan page. I'll throw a little advertisement out there for us. You can sell the app if you want. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's going to tell you, Joseph, that uh, once you mark it free, you cannot go back and, and mark it to sell. Do I think what will be fixed anytime soon, John? I might have missed your question earlier. Yeah, and I see up there Woodrow answered your question there. Look back in your question box there. Woodrow answered the question. Scroll back up into it. I know so little about Google Plus that uh, that that's something definitely I'm not an expert. I've got Google Plus. Woodrow is saying if you if you got that Google Plus problem, uh, it's on Google Plus's side. Oh, he's asking if you know what it'll be fixed anytime soon. As we sit here and wait patiently, it says it's uploaded. I don't know why it's not going.
Am I recommending that you charge a developer's fee for the uh, Android? Yes, I'm recommending that. Now, you don't have to. You can charge whatever fees you want to. Uh, it's y'all's business. It's your pricing. But uh, I don't think I would sit there and build all those things and uh, uh, not charge for it, personally. Mark, do you see me talking to you in the screen there? Okay, so we'll roll on right here. Okay, so we've got our APK file up. Now, what you're going to do is, is you're going to upload your screens, okay, into product details. Now, to save some time, because we're getting way late on this thing, I'm going to pull up this screen that I've already done. Once your APK is uploaded, you have to make sure that it is activated okay if it's not activated see right here where it says activate active right down here on the bottom and it'll say activate so you have to activate that so you're gonna upload your screenshots right here okay you're gonna just browse add the screenshot and upload the same way right here the high-res application that you made uh, the icon you're going to just upload it all right Matter of fact, let me delete this right here. Now I'll go ahead and just browse this and upload this real quick. And upload. And while that's uploading, you can come on down here and do your thing. Now you can see here that these things that say optional, Add a promotional graphic, feature graphic, pro pro promotional video. Okay, you can actually put YouTube videos in here. They can only be like 30 seconds long. All right, uh, so uh, don't put a long video, but if you want to put promotional videos in there, privacy policy. Now, this is something that you have to look at. If you're not going to submit a specific URL for the privacy policy of your app, say no. Okay, do not promote my application except in Google Play and any Google owned store. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to put your title, your description, your copy protection. Now you see this right here, it says the copy protection feature will be deprecated soon. Please use licensing services instead. So just say off. Uh, low maturity, everyone is going away too. Okay, uh, is going everyone is going away now pricing free if you're going to sell your apps if you're going to do something that you can sell your apps with you have to set up a merchant account at Google checkout okay they use a product called Google Wallet it's just kind of, it's just like PayPal uh, same scenario uh, but you have to set up a merchant account at Google checkout if you want to sell once you set your pricing free, okay, it's free. You cannot go back and change that. Come on down, put your website, your email address, your phone number, say consent, consent. And right here, instead of unpublished, it's going to say publish, okay? So you're going to click on publish, and it's going to publish your app. And it takes... They say about three hours. My apps were published yesterday in about 10 minutes. I was able to go in to the Android store and download my app, and uh, it was ready to go. So, uh, and that's the end of it. Once you've done that, you've developed your app, you've created your app, and you've published your app. And it just it works as sweet as pudding. And uh, it is a great, great, great program. Uh, extremely simple to use, 
We've added the Pixlr in there so you can use that. Uh, make sure you use that. All you have to do to get started is go to your app and click Generate Android App. Okay? And it's very, very, very simple. Will there be a training to help us rookie resellers to know when to offer iPhone versus Android or is that customer choice? We don't have iPhone apps. Yes, the, the $25 fee, I believe that's a one-time fee. I did not not get anything that said it was annual. This was my first time to go in there. I didn't see anything that said it was annual. It, it just said $25 registration fee. Mark says it is a one-time $25. Thank you, Mark. So with that, we'll go back to some questions. Does anyone have a PDF of the reputation management thumbs up, thumb down image? Any questions on the Android app system at all? Now's a good time to ask that. Anyone at all? <laughs> Robert Santini said he just downloaded my app. Pricing. Tom says, what should you charge for pricing? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I haven't even thought thought that far. I would probably charge $250, 250 and up. Yes, sir. And this same webinar, let me go back over to our... This same, see these videos here inside Create Android App for Hunt County Mobile Directory? Setting up your Android app, step one. Step two, generate Android app. Step three, publish your app, uploading and publishing. How to build an icon. Here's a video link, splash screen, video link, header logo, video link. Everything that I just did on the... Uh, uh, training tonight is in those videos. It's about 45, 50 minutes worth. Oh yes, use it as an upsell, Tom. Any more questions on the Android system? Actually, Joseph, the easiest way, let, let, me, let me just clarify something, okay? And I, I just want to make sure everybody understands. And I've, I've probably been preaching this since I did my first webinar 50,000 people ago. The easiest and quickest way to get an app on someone's phone and it, someone looking at it is through the QR code. At using it on your table tents and that kind of stuff. That's the easiest, quickest. Scanning those QR codes is is, is it. My, my Karen, wife and I went shopping the other day and I drove her nuts going through stores scanning QR codes because that's where the sales are. But that's Karen, the quickest and fastest way. I hear somebody talking. Yes. Uh, Carrie, am I live here? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Can everybody hear Woodrow? Okay, yeah, they can hear you. Okay, I want, I'd like to take a minute or two here to clear, clarify. There's a lot of new people that are on tonight and, and people that and, and, and resellers that don't realize there's a confusion here between native app versus mobile web app. And if anybody would like, we if you look at our blog, um, we have an article in there that describes what the benefits of both of them are. They both have their advantages. 
and disadvantages. Being mobile and a mobile web app, the client or the potential customer isn't forced to download something. They have a choice. So in that respect, a mobile web app is a lot better for the end client because they're not forced to jump through a bunch of hoops to download a particular app. So, and it works cross-platform on both by being web-based. The other advantage is when you make a change, you don't have to submit it to the App Store. It doesn't take two or three weeks for it to be approved. Uh, the changes with the mobile web apps happen instantly. For the new people that are on, this is just, we just created another way for you to be able to have a native app in the Android Store. We are not going to do this with iPhone uh, for the time being. It's just way too cumbersome. You see the steps you have to go through to, with this. It's not hard, but it is you know, labor intensive. And Apple iTunes Store is a lot more involved. So for that matter, um, for that reason rather, we're just going to not even consider it at this time. Maybe in the future, who knows. Does that clear everything up for, for people? Can we get a yes on that? If we, if that uh, again, I know those questions probably were flying by as I was talking. Oh, they're flying by, yeah. And, and I did really thought I should jump in there and clarify. I'm glad this. you did. I'm glad you did. I, I greatly appreciate that. Everybody understand what he was saying? Okay, let, let me explain because I see people asking that same question there. Let me show you something here real quick. Everybody's asking when will the training be archived. This training is already the training is already in the control panel. Okay. When you go to app and the Android app, when you come in here, let's go to web apps. When you go to generate Android app, if you'll look up here, create Android app for whatever your directory is, you will see step one, steps two. And steps three, setting up your Android store, which is what we started out with, generating the Android app, and then uploading and publishing your Android app. Those trainings are already here. Now, the, the training will be uploaded, okay, from tonight. But if you're looking for specific training, which is what tonight's training was on, if you're looking for that specific training, that we've already put the videos in. Then when you come down here for the icon, just click on watch the video. Splash screen, same thing. Header logo, same thing. I also went in today and I uploaded all of these trainings in the training section. Training videos, Instant App Wizard tutorials, right here. Step one, step two, step three, how to produce the icon, splash page, and the header logo. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's several places where you're going to be able to get that. And I'll, we know that this is going to be uh, a lot of questions as you go through this. This is what I recommend, and I recommend it uh, even for myself. I literally spent 30 hours sitting at my desk, okay, 30 hours sitting at my desk working on this so that I understood it to get it to the point of training tonight. Now, the training has been done, so now all you have to do is go step by step. You won't have to do what I did. To, to go in and figure it out. I've never done it before. Uh, yesterday, uh, actually I started the day before yesterday, worked all the way through up until 7 o'clock last night when everything started crashing. Uh, I knew nothing about it. So everything I had to do, you don't have to do. Just go in and go step by step through these videos and you'll have no problem. You'll have it, you'll have it done in, in less than 15, 20 minutes. I mean, it, literally generating those Graphics was only about two minutes a piece, and once you actually get into the uh, developer store, uh, the longest thing it took me to do was filling out all the stuff for uh, uh, to, to spend my twenty-five dollars to get my developer's license. So step by step, and trust me, these videos step by step, you will have no problem with it. You mentioned if you're going to sell your app, you needed a marketplace, but what about a restaurant wanting to sell the food through the app? The app is free, but order.
Uh, and you've lost me on that. Yeah, we don't have a shopping cart on the app right now. Now there is no there's no way for them to order from a restaurant right now, Robert. But understand this, downloading that app and doing anything through that app is two totally different things. Two totally different things. All you're doing is allowing them a place to download that app from. And the QR code works the same way. They they can download it using a QR code right to their right to their phone. I also want to clarify if I may carry okay. for a lot of the the, res the resellers or potential resellers that haven't even seen our platform or haven't watched any of the webinars, this is an advanced case right here. It doesn't take anywhere near this long to create a mobile web app. I mean, this is this is for advanced users who would like to have the option of making a native Android app. Our app wizard builds these out in 10 to 15 minutes, and it's a lot more. Um, it's a lot easier process, so don't don't think that you're overwhelmed by watching this. This is probably the most complicated uh, uh, process that you'll have to do within our platform anywhere. And we just did this by request because a lot of our resellers were, would like the option of res of selling this in addition to the mobile web apps. And it's a chance and opportunity to upsell and for you guys to make some extra money. This isn't going to cost you any extra money to do this. Yeah, this is definitely the, uh, I can build an app in seven minutes or less. Uh, I mean, the, building the app is the simple part. <laughs> it creates its own QR code. It does everything. So, But yeah. now also you, yeah. everyone, all your current apps that you have and your current clients, you can all go out there and approach them and ask them if they'd like this for an extra $99 one-time setup fee. You know, build you one out. See how long it takes you to get comfortable with it, and um, you know if you have 30 apps out there, you can go out and charge an additional hundred dollars per app just to build these out. It's up to you, but it's just an additional. It's it's an extra feature set and capability to be able to offer offer you uh, to your client. Any other questions? Any questions at all? Yes, it does cost $25 to become an Android developer. That is correct. You pay that to Google through Google Wallet when you sign up. Yeah, go ahead, Margarita. Same functionalities, exact same functionalities. Joseph, I'll give you a call. We, we, I can set up your AWeber account. That's no problem. I'll, I'll give you a call. <laughs> yes, sir, Roger. Yeah, I understand that, brother. Roger Panada says he's going to charge a good amount for that. Thank you, Joseph. Okay, guys, well, we're going to wrap this down here. I, I know we're really long. Uh, we've got a lot of people on tonight that have not become resellers yet that uh, we invited to come see our new application be launched. Uh, if you'd like to join and become a reseller and a part of this awesome program, Go to instantappwizard.com forward slash secret and you can sign up tonight. Uh, just go to, go to that page, instantappwizard.com forward slash secret. We would love to have you on board. We do these trainings every single Wednesday night. And uh, we just have an awesome, awesome, awesome uh, training session every Wednesday night. Uh, Marguerite wants to know, who can I call for help? Are, are, you, are you a reseller now, Margarita? We have so many new people coming on board. Let me, uh, let me, uh, Woodrow, can you see her talking?
if you would just give her a, a way to contact us there so we can help her get signed up instantappwizard.com forward slash secret if you'd like to sign up tonight or just sign up in the next couple of days you can go to instantappwizard.com forward slash secret and I just want to thank everybody for coming on tonight it's been an absolute pleasure I tell you this this was uh, uh, probably the most challenging thing I've done since uh, I've started doing these trainings and webinars and all this stuff for IAW but man what a what a learning base it was for me and I'm just I'm pleased that I was able to do the videos and I know that they're going to be a great help for each and every one of you and will save you many many hours in the future once you do one or two of these you'll never need another training video at all you'll just roll right through it and uh, you will have absolutely no problems and I mean no problems I want to close with this and I opened up with Zig and I want to close with Zig and I think this is very important it's not where you start or even what happens to you along the way that's important what is important is that you preserve, persevere, and never give up on yourself. And I'm telling you, the people that come in here each and every week uh, to training, the ones that are out there becoming successful because they listen and they do the things that they have to do, they've overcome the challenges. Uh, this may be a little challenge tonight with the new things uh, that we've brought on board, but I can tell you this, they never give up, and the money and cash is flowing. Their businesses are growing, and uh, God bless you, and I just think you're doing a super, super job. I appreciate you so, so very, very much. I hope to see you all back. We've had a full house tonight. I hope to see you all back next Wednesday night uh, at 8 o'clock. We're going to have another training. It'll be a totally different subject. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just send in a support and help ticket, and uh, it's uh, wonderful to see everyone. Thank you, Woodrow, so much for jumping in. The questions were flying by so quick, I, I, I had not a second to read them because I didn't want to break my train of thought tonight. But I do want to thank everybody for coming in. God bless, and we will see you next Wednesday.